here, <coughs> if you have shikha, every shikha is normally with the gleans in the field, you leave it at such the ground. What about if it's suspended? It's not touching the ground. Is it shikha or not? That's the question. So we want to bring a proof. Toshma, two, four, about eight lines from the bottom, nine lines. Ome shehezik bo, lo lichol ir, person takes the harvest, he's taking it to the city, you know, harv brings it. Vinucho gabi chavero, and he puts it on his friend to transport it. Vishochacho, and he forgot it. Hatachton shikha, veel yonenu shikha. Okay. What happened over here? Mega. So kada chashra du urcha de milsa nakalu zocha ba. Okay. Reb Shimon Yudov me Shimon Reb Shneim Shik Eino Shikho. Tach me Yishu Tomun the Elyon ne Yishu Tzof al Gad Tzof. Vishocho. Yeah, what happened? Listen, listen, very interesting. No, which means I, I put something on my friend's back, put the bottom one and put the top one. And then he forgot both. The man stayed, he forgot, he was going to take it, he put it on his back, then he was going to take it. Then he, he went to the city and left it on his ba the back of his friend. So what happens? The bottom one he left, the upper one was on, on the bottom sheaf. So that means it's not usually shikha's what lies. So, so, so here, even though he forgot both of them, he forgot both of them. But since the second one he forgot was, 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 there, was there was an undersheave under it, the bottom is shikha, the other one's not shikha. Rabbi Shimon al Yudah says no. He had earlier that if you have sealed, let's, it's, it's not shikha, it has to be something which reveals. So that's what. Right? So he says. They should. Yeah, the betachton. What arguing? Both of them. They're only. Arguing, what is the bottom? Is the one bottom one? Is it? Is it tamun? Is or not? But the up. It's not shikha ve'elion. Do you call lo havi shikha? So you see clearly that shikha has to be has to be one actually on the ground or lying. And he also came in the Arzi Bay, Zoha Bay. Which means to take to the city. Right. Normally, Shikh is, I, I harbor something, it remains in the field. Right. He never took possession of it. He Here, he picked it up to take and he put it on somebody's back. Then he forgot it on his back. He forgot it. Okay. So, the whole life, what is Shikh? If you forget gleanings of the view, who does it belong to? It belongs to the poor. poor. So, what is that? You never took possession of it. Here, he took possession. And he put it there. No, he took possession. So right. because he took possession, that's the reason why it's not shikha. Either one. Either shikha. Well, so the Mario has a question. So if that's the case, so, so, why, so why does he hold the bottom one yes? He's saying, he's answering, it has no, no proof. So what about the field? Because he was his friend. Let's see, he picked it up. Put it down. And he forgot it in the field. It shouldn't be shikha either. If it's You took it to take and if you forget it, it doesn't make it shikha. Okay. So why does he have to put it on his friend's back that it's already be taken? That that he took it in his hand. If that should be enough, but yet that it doesn't say that. Yeah? He says evidently it's because the person itself is between the the ground. If you put it on the you take it and you leave it on the ground, maybe you would. But here, aim of they should. Amr Abai says I'm like Ben Azai in the market of Tverio. Amr Le Ahum Rabbanu Abai Shnei Chalol Mizal Gabi Zeh, which means Abai was fierce, a contemporary of Rava. So Ben Azai was was a student of Rabbi Akiva, and Ben Azai when he felt his oats, he would say. He was any question you this kind of announcement. Anything you want to respond. So he asked him a question. Shnei Chalolim. One second. You have two murder victims. Right? It says you have to measure from the corpse to the city, correct? 
Now, w- do you measure from the upper corpse or the lower corpse? Good. Yeah, right? D- 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 even, there may be a slight degree of distance. That's the Shaila. Yeah. He says, firstly, since they're both the same, they're both corpses, you see there's one. So what's the shaila? From where do you measure it? Min bimino have tomun. Since the upper corpse is covering the lower one, so the bottom one we see as if it's not there, and the upper one is not tough. It's not like it's not called an interruption because the bottom one under it is the same same, same as a person, and therefore even if even though with the both corpses, that's considered an interruption. Of course, we said earlier, where does the corpse have to lie on the field? So if you have a, another body separating. Right, so it's a problem. Umim the mino, loavi tomun, umitach the modet, and we say one body can't can't conceal the other body, even though the upper body is concealing it. But since it's a body, that's not called the concealment. Conceal it's always with another species conceals it. Odil mim the mino havi tomun, even though they say the two bodies, the bottom one is considered concealed. Umim the mino havi tov, v'lo mitach modem v'melian. You don't measure from either of them. Hear this. The bottom one you don't measure because it's sealed. The upper one is because it's not lying on the ground. So maybe you don't have to measure it all. Omale, that's the question they posed to Abayi. Omale, so Abayi answered, Tinusua, we learned in the Tosefto. Omer Sheikh, the case we just quoted. Person took possession of the sheaves to take to the city. Vinicho Gabi Chavero, and he put on his friend. Okay? Vishocho, Vishocho. He piled them up, two sheaves on his friend's back. Hatachtun sheikhutz is the bottom one of sheikhutz. So what are we talking? We're talking two sheaves. It's the same species. And yet it refers to the bottom as what? As tomun. Hatachtun sheikhutz. The first tana, the bottom one sheikhutz. The other one ain't a sheikhutz. So according to the tana kama, why is the bottom one sheikhutz? It's not tomun. It's on his back. It's on oh, his back. Right, but right, even right. though it's concealed by the upper yeah. one, but since it's the same species, we don't see it as concealed. And the upper Shikha, because it's interrupted with the bottom one. Reb Shimon and Yehuda Omer, Mishum Reb Shimon, Shneem ain't a shikha, neither a shikha. Why? Hatach me shoot tomo, the bottom one because it's concealed. The Elyon me shoot tzof, and the other one because it's not sitting on his back. So it seems to be, it's, it's, it's based on this argument. I mean, every great bottom one, maybe. But the other one for sure not. Because here we're talking about it's Mibimino, the two sheep, the same species. And they both agree the upper one definitely is not shikha. The only question is, the bottom one, since the upper one is the same species as the bottom, do, do we see it as concealed or don't we see it as concealed? Mm-hmm. So the same thing with the two bodies. The upper body for, for sure is not considered lying in the field. Like the two sheep, sheaves. The question is, but is, is the upper body, does that c- conceal the lower body? Tanoi. Savru Adani Tanoi. Krebu Desvielu. Domas, evidently, they, they understood that both these Tanam hold. We had earlier, there was my. Uh, we had, how do you interpret the Basode? Does it mean it has to be, it has to be revealed? Or if, even if it's concealed? So if they, here they clearly say, what do you see? One says, what's the reason? Of course, I see it as concealed. So, so you see clearly by shikha, it if it's concealed, that tomun mm-hmm. is, is, is what? Is not, is not shikha. Mm-hmm. Okay? Savur dani tanoi krab yudas v'yilu, dom is besodeh, bas, what does besodeh mean? Prat that comes to exclude tomun, where it's concealed, where it's hidden. My love, vokam ifli, mar sova min bimino havi tomun. The Tanakama holds, the second one holds, what's the reason why the bottom one's exempt? Because even though it's the same species, one conceals the other. Omar Sov in the Tanakamu says that the bottom one shikha and the upper one's not shikha. He's of opinion. Lo avi tomun. Lo. Ikra rabi yudu shikha. Kul amin b'mino avi tomun. If you'd hold like rabi yudu, everybody would agree that even min b'mino, even though it's the same species, the upper species, the upper sheaf conceals lower. V'ochna v'ochna plu rabi yudu rabonan ke rabonan v'rab shim min yudu ke rabi yudu. Meaning they're arguing it, the law of, 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 of concealment does that exempt? That's a machlok stanoim. 
Rabbi Yudha says by shikha, if it's concealed, you don't have, you don't have to give it, leave it to the poor. The Chacham say, you do have to leave it to the poor. The Tanakam of the Braiso, the Chachomim, who say that the bottom one is shikha. Why? Not because it has nothing to do with Minbimino. Because Tomon is not an exemption right. in shikha. And Rabbi Yudha, uh, Rabbi Shimon Yudha says that it is an exemption. Yeah. He holds like Rabbi Yudha. If that's the case, what are they arguing? Where he put it on the person's back? I feel offer nami, right? Even if it's concealed with, with a rock, right, or with dirt, if the machlokus is whether the, the tomon exempts you from shikha, what are they arguing? He put it on his back, and one sheep's on a sheep on, on, on top of another sheep. Right. Same regular case. You have, you have a sheep in the field. It's covered with a stone. It's covered with dirt. One says Yechayev, one says Yenachayev. If that is the, what do we have to get involved, convoluted? You put one, this, two sheaves on top of one another, the person's back. It's covered with with, with, with a stone or with, with dirt. Right? Shemar says, Yechimayi, Agabi Chavero, Afil Ba'of of Nami. He says, Enoche Nami. He could have said. Even if it's covered with what? With a rock yeah, and dirt. even with dirt. Yeah. So what do what you argue where it's covered with a sheave? That's the Chiddush. It's understood. Everybody agrees. He wants it to say, even if you hold like Rabbi Yehuda, that what? That a rock and a stone is concealing it, and therefore you're exempt. What about if it be covered with its own species? It's a min Mino. Would, would I also see it as Tomun? Right? right? Okay. That, that, that's, that's, that's our is, issue here. I'll tell you, Tomun is, is exempt. Hidden is exempt if it's concealed. But is a shiva top of shiva, is that called concealed? Right. Rabbi Yudha says, even that's also considered concealed. That's okay. what you see from the Brisa. Is the concealment something that's accidental, something falls on top of it, something can go back and forth? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Not, not someone didn't conceal it intentionally. No, no, no. It's just the extreme that we're talking about. And, and why, I mean, we think just simply, if someone's harvesting the field, they, line, they put a sheep, sheep over here, or whatever, singular. No, he more left it. He went, he got some of the sheaves right, in the right, field. But if they're the same species, why is it considered like together as one, as one thing? And no, 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 no. He left two sheaves, and the way they were left, one was piled on the other. Let's say one was top of the other. Wait a second. To be chayiv in, in shiko, it has to touch the field. So the upper one won't be chayiv. It's not chayiv. Because the upper sheave is, 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 is interrupted with the lower one. There's a separation of the upper and lower because the lower sheave is touching the, the field. But they're touching each other, so why isn't there one? No, the two sheaves. No, that's the, everybody it's agrees. Found to, no, it doesn't make a difference. They're two bundles. It's two separate bundles. One bundle on top of another bundle. So because you see them as two bundles, the upper bundle is not touching the ground. That was the reason it was the question. Maybe it's the same species. You see it all as one continuous pile of wheat. No. Each bundle is seen as a separate bundle. So if you see it separate, the upper bundle is exempt because it's separated by the lower bundle. The question is, what about what's the status of the lower bundle? Do I see it as concealed or not concealed? So we said that's the argument. Well, so why does one say yes or no? Everybody agrees it's concealed. The question is, is concealed an exemption? The Tanakhama says the lower one you have to give because that's not an exemption for Shikha. The other one says it is, it's because it is. So he says, so what do we have to talk about? That uh, one bundle covered the other bundle. Say, say it's covered with dirt or with a stone. Because what's told me, greater Chiddush. You would think if it's a stone or dirt, that's a real covering. But if it's the same, it's the same species, like a bundle, like you said, maybe we'll look at it as one. Maybe that's not called the concealment. On that, he says, even that, even that's called the concealment. Mm -hmm. That's the Chiddush. It will be dirt, so it's clear that's a Rebuda. Rebuda says dirt or stone, <coughs> factually it's concealed, you potter. But maybe it's covered with another sheave. Maybe just you look at it as all as one entity of wheat. On that, he says, no, even that, even though it's mibimino, you still see it as concealed. So it's no different than the stone and the dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's It comes to show us the, 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 the extreme of the position of Yudah. The Omar, I feel min Even happy, Even though it's one Shiva and another, dirt and a stone is posh. That's understood. You're exempt. Because that's factually, it's covered. But maybe a Shiva on top of a Shiva, it's because it's the same species. Maybe that's not called the covering. The answer is that is called the covering. Turn around, it says you find, why is a, a corpse is called halal? What does halal mean? Halal is opening. Right? Halodum halodum, right? Right? Openings, right? Cavities, crevices. Yeah. 
when the man was murdered, was he strangled or was he pierced? So when you found the corpse, was he murdered? He, has a, he was pierced with a knife or with, 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 a, with a weapon? Right. Or he just, he, maybe, what about if he was strangled? You yeah. find him strangled. Yeah. Even though he's a corpse, but because the Torah uses the term cholol, he had to be murdered where his body was pierced. That's what it says. He's not, he wasn't strangled. Oh. Even though he was murdered, but since he was, the term, he has to be pierced. What if Lomafarpe means he, he's, um, he's convulsing? What about you find him? He's still, he's still convulsing. Okay. If you find him in that state, he's not dead. He's, alive. he's dead. He's dead. He is? Person even dies. The, the nervous system, you know, till it shuts down. Oh, like in the he's okay. dead. Okay. The person's brain dead. There's still movement. Right. Right. But it, if you find a person in that state, it would not be a neg You don't measure. Because right. hollow means it has to be literally. It's past. He's right. literally a corpse. Not. Right. There's no movement. Hollow right. v'lo mefarpil. Ba'adomo has to be on the ground v'lo tomun begal. It's not concealed in the ground. Right, let's say they, they killed murdered okay. person, they buried him, and you unearth him. Unearth the body, there's no egg la rufa. No fail with a tolu we had the serial. What about it if they, they hung him on a tree? No. Right? Or he was crucified? No. No. the what do we find? Float, he, he was, they drowned him. Right? Also, he's floating on the water because it says what? It says, it says basode. Yeah. Right? It has to be on solid surface. Rebeloza omek kulon imhoyacholol orphan. Yeah, this in every one of them, whether he's floating, if, but if he's a cholol, if he's pierced, even though he's suspended, but if he's pierced, you bring an egg la rufa. That's Reb Lozer. Tanya Om Reb Yosef Reb Yuda Omalo Reb Reb Lozer. Reb Yosef Reb Yuda said to they said to Reb Lozer, Yata Mode Shemoy Chonu Kumuto Baashba Shein Orphan Shein Orphan. Don't you agree that if you find a person strangled and they just threw him in the trash heap, the body, but there's no there are no wounds on the body. I mean, he, wa he didn't die as a result of wounds. Let's see, he died as a result of a concussion. That's, that's no different than being strangled, right? You mean, don't you agree that you don't have negla rufa, alma cholo, lo chonuk? So evidently, what does cholo mean? Means, hachanami badom of lo betom begal, nofa lo toli beilo, tzode lo tzofa gamai, rabloz cholo yisei reksif. One second. He asked the question, cholol normally means a corpse. So if you have an extra word cholol, cholol will tell me it has to be pierced. But normally cholol means somebody's dead. Right. As he see, saying, as he see, you need a pasuk for every aspect right. that he should not be hanged, he yeah. should not be uh, floating. Right. So you need a pasuk to say he has to be pierced. Where does it say he has to be pierced? Right. Chol normally means a, a corpse. Yeah. On that he answers because there's a holy yisera. There's an extra word, cholo. What's the extra word? So that tells me he has to be pierced. Right. Therefore, if he old, if he's strangled, you, one does not bring bring an egla rufa. Just as if he's floating. Or if he's suspended, and if, how do we know in all those cases no egla rufa? Because this pasuk, so it's not something we make up. So if cholo means a corpse, how do you know he means he has to be pierced? Mm -hmm. You need a pasuk to tell me that. The answer is that there's an extra word cholo. The Torah wrote the word cholo. It's, it, it's superfluous. There's an extra cholo. So what does it write? The extra cholo mm -hmm. that teaches this that what does a cholo means pierced. It has to be pierced. If he's not pierced, according to Rabbi Loza, you don't bring the egla rufa. Nimtzo Somuch Lesvar. Mishnah says, what about if you find him on, on, the, on the boundary line, the border of the, of the country? O Lir Sheruba Ovikochovim, or a, a community where it was close to the majority were Goyim. So Mishnah says, you don't bring Egla Rufa. Dechsiv, ki motzei prat le motzui.
Yeah, we say some inter interesting concept. It says if you come upon a corpse, what about if you're in a region? It's it's, it's daily fair. You know, you live with Rubagoyim, you always find people murdered. So that's like you've come upon it. It's always there. You know what I mean? A border of a country where the boundary line, people are always crossing. That, that's where people are murdered continuously. But you have to find the corpse in a location where you normally don't find the corpse. The boundary line of the boundary of the country, the border, that's where you find corpses. Mm -hmm. Whether they murder them and dump them there, whatever it is. Or, same thing, where the majority of the community are going. Okay. So what do you think they do with their old age? Life means nothing. So they murder people. Therefore, if you find a corpse there, you don't bring an egg, egg la rufa. Because it's not, it's, ca it's not because you came upon it. Right. Came upon means it's something unusual. Here, this is not unusual. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. The Gemara, the Medjur says, we have Rosh Hashanah. <coughs> Rosh Hashanah by us is the most solemn day of the year. Rosh Hashanah, day of judgment. By Goyim, what's Rosh Hashanah? New Year's, what they call New Year's. They eat and drink and they brawl and they kill one another. That's, that's, where, that, that's what New Year's is by the Goy. So, it says, so the Medjur says, look, there's what their New Year's is and Lahavdi what our, our Rosh Hashanah is. Right. Same thing. William to kill means nothing. Things have changed a little bit. It, it's gone back there. Because the Mishnah says in Abu Zoro that you're not permitted to travel alone on the road with a goy. Why? Because the sus the suspect of murder. They may murder you. Because the anti Semitism was what, what at such a level one time, if you were by if you hadn't if you weren't you weren't with a group of people, they would murder you without a question. So you're not permitted. You're putting your life in danger. You weren't permitted to take a haircut from, from a goy. Mm. Why? Because he had a razor. First thing, opportunity, he would slit your throat on the barber chair. So you weren't permitted to take. So the Rishon said, but today that the world has become more civilized, you're permitted. They're not suspects for murder. And that's the Miri in, in Avodah Zara. Right? But there, it was known in, in, in Poland, pre-World War II, during World War II, a Jew... A partisan, a, 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 a Polish partisan non-Jew would kill his fellow Jew partisan the first opportunity he had. His own, his own comrade in, in, in battle, he would kill him. That's how they suspect of murder. So I'm saying, by Goyim, to kill means nothing. So therefore, it's, if it's on the border or if you're near with the majority of the community of Goyim, you, you, one does not bring, bring the Eglah Rufo. See, my difficulty is that, what do we have to see? Because it's Motsi. We have a question, who killed him? If the majority of Goyim, go after Rov. Right? So what, if, what do we have to come up with the word Motsu? You, you came upon it, not that it's found. Say simple. If we know factually Goy killed, 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 killed the Jew, do you bring Egla Rufa? It's not even consideration. If a woman is, let's say you have a community, the majority are Jews, and a woman's raped, a single woman. She's not defiled. Of course, you go after Rov, the presumption is that one of the majority did it. If they're Goyim, then she is defiled. Of course, the presumption is one of the Goyim raped her. Right. It's the same thing here. If you have the majority of people are Goyim and the majority of Jews, who do you think is the murderer? You go with the rove. So what do we have to come up to the Posuk? Motsuki, Motse, not where it's Motsuki. Because it's prevalent. What do we need the prevalent? We want to know who the murderer is. Rove tells me the Goyim murdered. You hear what's bothering What do I need the Posuk? Motse versus Motsuki. You find a lost ob uh, article in the community. If the majority are going to be permitted to keep, keep it. it. Keep it. Because the, why? Because Rove tells me the one who lost it is not a Jew. Right. The majority of Jews, it's a question of the of Metzia, whether you have to. In, well, in the town of the majority of Jews? Jews because if the Goyim, the Jew is Miyayish because he feels maybe the Goyim will find it. Right. So he won't get it back in either case. But if not for that, uh, he, that uh, you, have, you have to return it because the Jew, Jew definitely lost it because Rove tells me a Jew lost it, not a Goyim. Mm -hmm. Okay? All the Yashem Bobezd. What about a, a community that doesn't have a Sanhedrin? You find it, one does not bring the Egla Rufa. Because it says the members of the Sanhedrin go out. Okay? The Bina Zikne Uir. You need elders of the city itself. The city doesn't have elders. Emodim El Leir. Pshita. The 
Tamalokhuz in the year he become you it's very interesting. Let's say you have a situation you find a course between two cities. One city doesn't have a Besdin and the other city does have a Besdin. Right? So he says you only measure that they measure from the city which has the Besdin. Here Shaimba Besdin ikhal so umodin li ir sheishwa Besdin Maybe you would say, "Tamul lochu zikne yirahi mikol mokom." One second. There you go. How does he explain this? The last, the last piece right before the mission. I'll have it. Rashi. To say like this, what about if you have, let's say you have a, 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 a bez in either city. Okay. So then you say, well, it's a question. They come out, they measure. Of course, the question is, is it city A, city B? Right. But let's say city B has no bez in. It's just city a. No, it's, you don't measure. If well, a city has a bez in, has a city to be considered to be measured right. has to have a bez in. So if one of the cities doesn't have a bez in, you don't measure. Right. Even though one city has a bez in. See the other best, the other both cities have to be t- taken into consideration. Right. Where did the murder come from? Did it come from city A, city B? So the zakanim of each city responsible to determine which one. But let's say one, one city doesn't have a bezdin, so then you're not, there's nobody to measure from the other city representing the other. So maybe don't measure it all. No, kamashim no. As long as one of the cities has a bezdin, they will measure which one it's closest to or, or farther from. Further, what about it, the, the, the corpse is found equidistant between two cities? Mm. What do you do? What, both cities don't bring an egg rufo. Nibsa mechuv me shtei yoros, shtei mevis, shtei agolos, div reb lezer. Reb lezer knows. If it's between two, both of the cities have to bring. Yer? Ve'en Yerushalayim evio, egg la rufo. Yerushalayim doesn't mean egg la rufo. Why? We'll see why. Nibsa Roshim Okam Echot Vigufa Yeah, what? What do you measure? No, 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 no. No, the head was, this, was, was, de- he was decapitated. Do you measure from the body? Do you measure from the head? Let's see, if you measure from... No, no, that was Shuruba. If the majority... Let's say the head is closer to city A and the body is close to city B, what do you measure? Do you measure from the head? Where the head is? Do you measure where the body is? Is it where he was murdered or where you find the body? You have a question, Norman? It's very simple. If you measure from that, it will be city A. You measure from the body, it will be city B. Obvious, right. So w- w- which one did, w- what's the determining factor? Which one, which one do you measure from? That's, that's the discussion here. No. The head is associated with the body, you measure from the body. No, so you attach it because you have to measure. The skull extends a little bit, right? Reb Kiva Ome Haguf Eitzel Rosh. No, you take the body to the head. So let's say the the, the, the neck was facing the the city. So you attach the bodies to the right. face of the city. If okay. let's say the head was facing outward, so you attach the body to the to the head. Yeah. It's going the other direction. Okay. Okay. So th- what are they arguing? They're arguing what is the, what is the primary? What's considered the body? The head, the skull, or the body? Right. That's the discussion over here. So do you measure from the head or do you measure from the body? Now, when you have the body, let's say the body is lying, do you measure from the navel or for, do you measure from the head? Okay? Rebeleza Omer Mitiburo. You measure from the navel of the person. That's where you measure from. Rebkiva Omer Michotmo. You measure from the nostrils, the nose. 
The nose, no, because that's life. Yeah. The person breathes it's through his nose. Rebelez bin Yaakovim imokum shenasa cholbo bitzavoro. Wherever the wound is, let's say wherever the wound was, he was penetrated with the knife. Right. Okay. You measure from there. My time of Rebelezer. Right, Rebelezer says what mission? If it's, he's found exactly between two cities, what do you do? Both cities have to bring. Right. So Efshel Tzamtzim, Ukrova feel Krovas. Hear this. Let's say the, when, when something seems to be, are there two things which are exactly <coughs> equal? No such two things. There's no such things. Right? No two things. When something is at a certain point, do we say it seems to be there, but re the reality is not? Because if you'd be able to measure to, to that, you'll see it may be off a thousandth of a millimeter. Good. So if that's the case, it's not exactly. So if that's the case, it's a suffix. Suffolk you don't bring. No. So neither city would bring. Because we're not sure it's city A, city B. Yeah. But if you'll actually something that regarding halacha, it's the way it's viewed. Right. Visually, it looks like it's exactly in the middle. Therefore, both will bring. Both. Right. So if it's, you say, you have something, it's not possible. So I know it's a suffix. Suffolk you don't bring. But if I say you go after the way it looks, so they say, but what both you bring? So we say, it says, it says, krovos. Krovos means it's in the plural. Krov, even both of them. Ukrovo, ukrovo, comes to afilu krovos. Even though it's multiple cities, two are bringing, uh -huh. even though the murder only came from one. Right? We're not, we're not saying the murder came from both cities. Even though the murder came from one city, nevertheless, and since we don't know which, the Torah says both cities have to bring, bring the Egla Rufa. And Yushalayim may be Egla Rufa. Why not? Yushalayim cannot bring the Egla Rufa. Domakro Lirishto. It has to be a, a community that, that, could, that has relevance to inheritance. Yushalayim, there's no inheritance. Yushalayim belongs to Klal Yisrael. Uksov Yushalayim lo nishalk lishvotim was never divided among the Shvotim Yushalayim. Shlaim proper was never divided among but the Shvatim. The Shavit of Big Yavin, but it was never divided. No, no, no. no. That, that, that's the what's the, that's the Temple Mount. It's talking about the city of Yerushalayim. The city of Yerushalayim was never divided. Nimsa Roshim Okamechot, the Mike Kamifki. What are you arguing? Elaim Olin Medido Kamifligi. Are they arguing how to measure Hokotani Sefo? That's the, the concluding part. From the navel, from the nose, or from the wound? We're not taught. Hear what they're arguing. The halach is if you find a mes mitzvah, you bury him exactly where you find him. So where did you find him? Is the skull where you found him? Or the body? That's the argument, what they're discussing. Mes mitzvah, konam mekomo. Hokama. The kovro. Konam mekomo. Yeah? Regarding burying him, what does it mean? He's cut him a cobble. He should be buried there. Vehechod the nipsa rosha mokam echod the guf mokam acher. If you find the skull in one location, the body's in the other location. Molichan a rosh eitzel a guf divrei reb lezer. Yeah, you take the skull to the body. What's the location where the body is? So where is he going to be buried? Not where the skull was found. To be buried is a mes mitzvah. He'll be buried where the body was found. Reb Kiva says I disagree. Ha guf eitzel a rosh. The body goes where the head is. So you bury him where the, where the skull was found. My kabiflugi. Marsov a gufe beduchne nofo. They were arguing what the reality was. When a person was murdered, let's say he decapitated him, right? So the question, did he decapitate him exactly here and his head because it was lopped off? The head flew? Or so therefore, so where did he actually die? He was murdered. He was murdered where the body, the body is. is. So therefore, I would say, so he's buried where, where he was killed, right? As he says. The body fell where he was murdered. The head rolled off. The head rolled away from the body. But where did he die? He died where you find him. That's the body. Let's say a person is, let's say, in, is running, is in movement, and they go and they remove his head, decapitate him. But the person's in a, in a movement motion. Right. So I say, you know something? He fell over there. Right? right? No, he was killed here. 
Right. Well, so why is the body separated? Because the body separated from the head. Right. He was decapitated here. Right. But because he was decapitated in movement, that's where the body ended somewhere else. Right. But where did he die? He died where he was decapitated. Yeah. So when you find the skull, that's where he, we say he died. That's the argument. How to evaluate what happened. Do we say he died here and the head rolled off? Right. Or do we say no? He was killed here. So it's his location. The body, and, and the body was in movement. That's where you find the body somewhere else. It's so interesting. Today, the whole different than Shaila. Today, if you, you know, the person's killed with a, an explosion. The moment the explosion takes place, the person's dead. But because of the explosion, the body is, is, it could go in all directions, mm -hmm. right? Just from the, uh, the impact of the sound, the explosion, it's enough to, a person's heart can't function. Howard? I need it. I'm trying to visualize it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? You know, they say with um, TWA uh, Flight 800, oh. mm -hmm. it oh, says when, when it exploded, yeah. the, 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 the pressure, the impact of the explosion, they weren't killed from the, from, from the physical, they, the bodies were, were, it was from the pressure, all the systems just immediately shut yeah. down, they died. Like when a bomb falls, the the, the, right? The, how does a person become deaf? He loses it immediately. Mm. You know, the sound, everything just it just it, it ruptures. Mm. Right. Okay. So you're saying it comfortably the battery down. So where those the explosion th occurred from it. Where that would that be that that's, that's where he died. That he's here, the person is sitting here, and he's found later here. This is the spot where. Right, he right, exactly, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. It depends where you die, where a person dies. It's not where you find the body, and if you're able to find out where, where the explosion took place, that he definitely died there. That's where he's going to be buried. Okay, mine how you mowed him. Then we have where do you measure? You can't uh, bury them in that spot. No, you do. You do whatever. My, 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 the measure from the navel, from the nostril, from the wound. Reb Kiva says the main life of a person is where, his, where he breathes from. Right? You breathe. Your nose, yeah. your mouth. No. A child in, in utero. Where's the nourishment? The nourishment goes through the navel. So that, that is the essence of the person. So therefore you measure. So we say his life was taken. Okay. So what do you measure from the location of his life? Even though th this life is in utero, right. what, what does the navel function afterwards? Okay. Nothing. <coughs> maybe, maybe it does. Na it does mean the navel means it's what it, what it corresponds to. Right. Right. It's the intestines. Could right. be that's what it means. Okay. okay? That's chiyuse, the digestion, all that. Chiyuse means his life. Chiyuse. Right? There's an argument when a, ch a child starts developing after conception, where does he develop from? Does he start from the, from the center and it, and it, it grows out? <laughs> does he start from the head and grows down? <laughs> that, that's the discussion. From, right? Gozi. What's Gozi mean? You, you've sheared me. Shearing is the head. You shear, right? Remove your growth. Abishalom <laughs> mitiburo. Abishos is now from the navel. Umishalech shorosho. Elch ve'elech. Because he says he extends from his root in every direction. So that means from the center it goes out. Right. grows in all directions. I mean today and probably you know you, you could see this under, under uh, sure. the, the continuous development. From day to day how's the child growing? Right. One second. I feel the same Abishol. I can't look at Abishol and learn in Yitzira. It has nothing. There, they're arguing when a child in utero develops. How, how does it develop? From the navel, from whatever it is. Yeah, in Yitzira. Hechin not mitzer vlad mitzu say mitzer from the center. I will in yichiusa, but everybody. But regarding what's the life, the kuli alma bapehu the chsiv. You know the book Kol Asher Nishmas Ruach Chaim Bapov. What it, it says, Nishmas Ruach Chaim Bapov. That's, that's in your mouth. Af. Your nose. The nose. It's interesting. Shulchan Aruch. How do you determine a person is dead? 
you have to identify the face. The no, face no, 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 no. There's nothing with that. You take a feather and you put the feather under the nose. I hope he's alive or not. I told him if he's alive, how do you determine person? Person. Okay, good. Right, that's whether he's alive or not. He's supposed that he's supposed to take a feather, good. and you put the feather under his nose. And if there's there's no movement, that means there's no air coming out of his nostrils. Mm -hmm. So that, that's right. the, so you see. So what's life? It's not. You, you, so it comes out even if he has no pulse. He, even a person is a possible person has no pulse, and there's some there's some some slight air coming out of his nose. I don't know. For a very short period of time. Could be. He said he had a cold. That's why it's. That's no, no, particularly interesting because within the fetus, of course, maybe, you may think maybe just the beginning, but that's the umbilical cord. That's where he gets the oxygen from. Everything. He places his breathing when, in the, when, when it's a fetus. And then after the birth takes place, obviously. He's I'm, I'm not sure if it's oxygen. The child doesn't have oxygen. Sure, I That's how the child gets oxygen here. That's how the child survives through the umbilical cord. The I thought cord. when you have the umbilical cord, the child's considered part of the mother's system. And it, it, but it's different. It's it's not, it's, but it's not breathing. It's uh, it's like the blood is oxygen, oxygenated. It's the, place of breathing. it's the place of breathing. It's not the lungs are breathing air. Are breathing. Not that's what I'm saying. It's not. Yeah. It's of course, it, it, the Gemara says it says that a child is considered like 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 a, an appendage of the mother. Ubi mm yerachimo, -hmm. mm -hmm. just as the, the 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 limb of a person, right. the whole body is, is 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 it's nourished from the body. The child is nourished from the body like a limb of, of the mother. Right. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. That's the connection. That's the connection. Okay. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, Mokum Shinasecholo Mitzavoro. My time, Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, Dixiv Losis Osoch Al Tzavre Chale Rishoyim. At Tzavre, so we say the Tzavre, the neck of the of the the corpses of the Rishoyim. So when we refer to a person as a corpse. That means his, his neck, his throat has been slit. So since when we speak of dying, it identifies with the neck, mm -hmm. the throat. Therefore, therefore, that is the that's where you measure from. The hilkoch merumodin nechsiv el because it says tzaber is associated with cholo. Okay, we will continue. So the big blood tissue. Too. So today is the next block. So you'll have to do it tomorrow. They're tremendous, very large, but they're not difficult. <laughs>